please welcome Paul Omani. Nothing matters more to a decent human being than a peaceful mind, a peaceful family, and peaceful neighbors. Who was it who said, love your neighbors? It was me. I said it because the way you feel, the way you think and the way you act towards your neighbors probably marks you for the rest of your life. It certainly marked me. Contest Share and Toastmasters, please come with me to a situation in 1956 where there was a young boy in short trousers living in Limerick in Ireland. And he got into the car with his mother and his father. And he drove out the road in Limerick into the countryside, into a field or outside a field where there were army huts. You know those kind of huts that are temporary? That would be really, really cold in the middle of the winter. And out of those huts came two strangers who got into the car and came back to the house with them. It was Christmas dinner. It was Christmas day. And those two people were Hungarians. In 1956, in the late autumn of 1956, Soviet tanks rode into Hungary and thousands of people were refugees. Ireland received 541 people, women, children, men. The country was poor, the weather was awful. And I sat across the Christmas table from two strangers. I was in short trousers. I can't remember much more. I just remember their presence. And the thought has stuck with me somewhere in the back of my memory that for some reason or other, my mother and father, nothing must have mattered more to them than loving these neighbors refugees from Hungary. I'm talking to you during a very difficult time in Europe. When we here in Ireland are expecting more than 25,000 refugees, the number of refugees in Poland, in Germany, in Romania, Moldova, mounts by the day. A time when we have got members in our organization, 160 of them in nine Toastmasters clubs in Romania, in District 101, in Region 10, in Europe. They are refugees. They are in fear of their lives and they may, may well be fighting for their lives. Nothing matters more to them than total commitment to peace, to loving their neighbors. And nothing matters more, I suspect, to you than your own peace of mind, the opportunity of loving your neighbors. Yes, the whole of the world, certainly in Europe, is united in thinking about what's going on. 
all sorts of emotions are there. We have members who are refugees already. It's a darn good guess to imagine that we have members who the last thing on their mind is improving their communications and leadership skills. We don't know what the situation is for them individually. I've troubled about this all week. I got in touch with the district director. I got in touch with the division director. I got in touch with some members over there. I'm not the only one who cares. Nothing matters more than being at peace with yourself, being at peace with your neighbors. And that means being able to give voice to your desire for peace, for how much you want it, and to give voice to your commitment to other people. I speak to you today about the most important thing I could possibly be speaking to you about, because that's felt to me like the only thing worth talking to you about. You are somebody I believe and trust who already loves your neighbors. We have ways of connecting within the organization, club by club, area by area, division, district. We have ways of getting our voice, of sharing it, to share the love, to share what matters to us more than anything else, to share your total commitment to the lives and well-being of people who need to be at peace. Thank you, Contest Chair. Thank you very much, Paul, for your speech. Mr. Timer, as usual, can we now have a one minute on the clock for the judges to mark their balance? Please show me the